Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Hitman. Let's get right into it. We have LR Bobby and Boo here. They are a very good LR from what I'm seeing, but I have not used them yet, and I haven't seen a showcase of them since about December. But it's good that they're on Global now. We have a lot of content coming our way. Their leader skill they give Boo Saga 4 key and stats 130%. Super attack 12 key does a colossal damage with a medium chance of sealing and a medium chance of stunning the enemy. 18 key does the exact same thing but of course mega colossal which is a these are really good effects because like if you get an additional which they do have that in their passive we'll get to it they are gonna like they're gonna do something to the enemy you guys know what i'm saying like it's i don't know it's like you'll see it at least half of the time if that makes sense like it should be good for sbr but passive skill Key 3 and stats 40,000. Attack and defense plus 40,000. They give themselves an additional 3 key and attack and defense 30,000 if the enemy has any type of de debuff being attack down, defense down, seal, or stunned. They launch an additional attack guaranteed that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack and they recover 5% HP at the start of turn or at the end of turn, excuse me, at the end of turn after they have been hit. Link set, they have a really good link set. I just hate Master of Magic because look at it. Wow, amazing. Ew. They have Master of Magic, Thirst for Conquest, Brutal Beatdown, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. Their categories are Boo Saga, Joint Forces, Terrifying Conquerors, and Inhuman Deeds. Now you say Joint Forces, Joint Forces is like, it's such a, oh, it's a whole bunch of OP units that don't fit together at the end of the day. So I, I like Tapion's looking good over there. Tapion and Minosha. It's really LR Minosha with Tapion, but <laughs> you know, cause Minosha, he got the juice like that, man. But their best partner, of course, would be Bobby and Deborah, even though what I hate about this partnership is Bobby and Deborah give three key and stats 30%. They don't give it to this unit right here because they are not on Majin Power. I wish they either gave this to Boo Saga or made it so every Boo that's like the main part of the unit would have Majin Power. Or, no, wait, I lied. Bobby and Deborah should be on Majin Power. That's what the issue is. They should be a Majin Power unit, so they don't even support themselves. It's really dumb. But this will be a good combination. A lot of debuffing, a lot of stunning, a lot of sealing, stuff like that back and forth you know what they're doing but like i said neither of them is getting this support buff so it's it's weird trying to figure out how that will work however they go one two three four they go six for seven on links so right there you should be good that's all you really need to know for that part of it just their best linking partner they're free to play units used to beat this event you should be able to stomp it out shouldn't be anything difficult for my team personally i'm probably going to bring lr easy a frieza LR Easy A Goku. I'm gonna bring Grace A Man and Videl just for fun. I'm probably gonna bring LR Easy A Zamasu. This LR or not, I'm saying LR so much. This Super Vegeta and Super Trunks because they one shot the first couple phases of any prime battle as long as they crit. And then from there, I'll go in whatever direction I feel. I mean, you can do whatever. Like at this point, Free to play units are so strong, especially the LRs if you have them farmed up and easy aid. You can stomp out any prime battle without too many issues. The leader skills aren't even a problem like they used to be back when the game was younger. Everything should work out perfectly fine. So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you guys enjoyed. These guys are a very good unit. I definitely got my showcases coming in a couple of days. I'm streaming later tonight if you want to check that out. This is the... This is April 14th, the day I'm recording this. I'm streaming early on the 15th. You know how Dokkan is on Global. Middle of the night stuff. So catch me out there if you can. I'd appreciate it. Hitman is out.